Okay, this assignment is to do a repeat of the GPS draw assignment that we did previously, only there's going to be a couple changes to it. One of the changes is that we're going to be doing it in Unity. That's going to prep us for our final assignment. Another change is that we are going to capture the altitude of our points in addition to the X and Y locations. And then a final change is that the drawing that you're going to do is going to be simpler. We're going to have you just draw a smiley face, a face of some kind in Aldrich Park. So a couple of the things that we're going to do here in Unity that are going to be a little bit different is we're going to use the Unity's, uh, Unity's library for collecting location information rather than doing something natively in Android. One of the great things that Unity provides for us, in addition to being a game engine and a pretty sophisticated 3D render rendering platform, is it also handles a lot of cross-platform issues very elegantly. So you can use the Unity location scripting libraries that are built into Unity, and you can export it to both iOS and Android without having to deal with the specific native Android calls that we were using in the last assignment. So in this assignment, we're not going to use the graphical abilities of uh, Unity. We're just going to use it as a UI so that we can add the graphical elements next time. So in this assignment, we're going to set up some game ob we're going to set up some objects at the top level of our project hierarchy. They're going to be game objects, but they're just going to con contain scripts that we're going to run when our program executes. There's going to be three of them. We're going to set up. Uh, you can do it any way you want, but this is the way I'm going to walk through it in the tutorial. We're going to have a GUI object that manages the user interface. We're going to have a location object that manages our information about where our device or you are. And then the third object is going to be a network helper that's going to be provided by uh, me uh, so that we can sort of not have to mess around with networking stuff. So the networking stuff, will, uh, the networking helper will help interface with uh, the server. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, create uh, and we have to import a couple things also, and so we're going to step through that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the three objects that we're going to use uh, in our tutorial. All right, so let's do that first. Whatever camera we have is fine. We're not actually going to use the camera. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the hierarchy, and then I'm going to create a new uh, game object, an empty game object. And this is just going to end up being a container for a script that we're going to write. We'll go ahead and call that my GUI. Change it there. Then let's create another empty game object. And we'll call this one my location. And then we'll create a final one, uh, which we'll call my network helper. Okay, great. Those are the three pieces that we're going to start with. We're going to do the coding for this one in C Sharp. C Sharp looks a lot like Java with a couple other um, syntactic changes to it. Um, and so let's start by bringing in um, my network helper. This is the code that's going to be written for you. All right, so this is the code that's going to be written for you. I'm going to provide it for you. It'll be available on the website. But in the meantime, you'll just see me cut and paste it. Let's look at what it provides, first of all. Okay, the network helper is a class. It's going to be um, available to you, and it's going to do the same things, very similar things to what we did last time. So, for example, uh, you can see in the uh, helper here that we've got, it keeps track of the number of strokes that you have in, your, uh, in this helper, the number of points that have been uploaded. If at any time you want to upload the points, for example, after you click a button, that would be a good idea, uh, then you you pass you execute the you you call the upload points function with the group name and the drawing name and then that will cause the software to try and upload the points to the server. Hopefully, if you the way it's supposed to work is if you don't have network, it's going to save the points, um, and that's the goal. We'll see how well that works. All right, if you just want to add a point to a stroke, for example, you get a GPS point back. You want to add it to a stroke. You just need to provide the stroke name, uh, the timestamp of the point the latitude of the point, the longitude of the point, and this new bit, which is the altitude of the point. All right. And then finally, at any point, if you want to color the stroke that you're uploading, you use the same string that you used up here, uh, specify it with a call to add stroke color, 
and then you pass it a color object which is uh, defined by unity it is uh, basically just an array that has um, four real numbers between 0 and 1 uh, the first real number is red the second real number is green the third real number is blue and the fourth real number is the alpha component or how transparent it is okay so those are the things that we're going to work with in our network helper so let's go ahead and try let's pull that code into our system uh, and make sure it compiles and everything. Okay. Here's my network helper. I'm gonna double click on that and see, okay, we don't have anything here. It's, it's a blank object. We're gonna add a script to it. And it'll be new, so we'll call it my network helper script. And that got put in the assets folder. Um, so it's right here. Oh, actually, that's wrong. We don't want to do it in JavaScript. We want to do it as uh, C Sharp, so I can do a better job of that. Let's go ahead and delete this component. You can, of course, do it in JavaScript if you'd like, but the tutorial is going to work uh, on um, C Sharp. All right, let's try that again. Move that component, add a component, a new script. Language C sharp, my network helper script. Great. Okay, great. C sharp, it's located in the assets folder. When I double click it, I pop up a, an editor here uh, that we, oops, an editor that I will bring over here. If I can get it to move, come on. Move. Me on the resource. All right, so this is just a generic uh, template that's been provided for us uh, by Unity by default. I'm going to paste the code that's going to be provided for you. You can grab this code from the web page on this assignment, and we'll walk through it real quick. All right. What you see here is filled out all the functions that we saw before. The things that you have access to are indicated by this um, interface, but they're all just filled out. And we'll go ahead and save this file. And then when we go back to Unity, we should see, oh, we've got an error. Let's check out what that error is. Um, it said that there's an error on line five. Uh, the namespace mini JSON cannot be found. Are you missing a using directive or assembly reference? Okay, that's great. So you know that when we upload stuff to the server, it uses uh, JSON in order to communicate. Well, um, we're going to import a file that does just very simple JSON for us as well. This is also provided for you. It's available online. Um, and I will um, grab that for you now. I'm just going to grab that. One, one second. Okay, here we go. All right, so just like we had a um, new script for a network helper, we're going to add and we're going to add a new file that's not going to have a game object and it is going to be a C-sharp script and it's going to be called mini with capital M and then J-S-O-N capital and C-sharp. All right, we'll open it in our editor. Uh, we'll try it again. We'll open it in our editor. Great. All right, and there's the text of the script. Uh, that you all provide on the website. Save that. Now when we go back to Unity and give it focus, it'll recompile everything and we see that our network helper has compiled and it has included the mini JSON and so that should be everything that we need in order to communicate to the server. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video for a second and um, uh, we'll pick up in another uh, mini episode.